All right, we're gonna break this moose down and I'm gonna give you a narration of the process. When you have a big moose like this, you're out in the middle of nowhere. This is how we've always done it up here. Might not be everyone else's favorite way, but it's the way we do it. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of point as Dusty's going and I'll walk you through this first process. All right, proof of sex is still intact there and there. So now what we're gonna do is moose is super, super tough skin. So we're delicately slicing up just like this. But first, we're not trying to go all the way down to the organs. You're, you just wanna get the skin at first so that you're not having to cut through so much stuff. So just work your way up the skin, nice and easy right here. There's pressure there, lots of pressure. So make sure you don't go fast. This is where you wanna just kinda keep your blade turned a little bit like how Dusty's doing. See how he's kind of turning it so he's not poking down? Just like that, real easy, and you're just going down the hair first. Skin is broke open all the way down. Here's a good tip while he's getting started. We have paracord tying him up to hold him straight up and down for us. We've also got a log that we jammed underneath the back right there so that it's actually able to be in this full position like this okay so we're going to start with a small incision down here towards the bottom right above what you can feel as a hard pelvis bone there between the hamstrings you get in just like this just a small little bit and if you start at the bottom there's not a lot of pressure if you can get two fingers in there and delicately get your blade between your fingers you can Lift with the fingers, have the blade between, and try to just easily slide that up. Okay, for this technique, we started at the very bottom where you feel the pelvis. You're going to slide two fingers underneath and split your fingers and keep the blade between there right above your hand like this. Lift up as you're going. Really important. There'll be a lot of pressure here on the organs. Keep the organs pressed down with your hand, lift up with the fingers, let the blade edge follow just like this. It's going to be very clean, no mess. We've just now hit the brisket. Okay, so we hit the brisket right here. Now, this is an unbelievable technique the Philians have taught me, and I don't know if I've seen this anywhere, but what you're going to do is you're going to actually skin back this big chest right here, the sternum. Very noticeable, you have to just lift the skin and peel the skin back just like this to fully expose this whole brisket piece. Okay. So yeah, this is the neatest trick right here. So next, you're gonna slice through that meat right there. And you can see we're probably about right on the point of that sternum gonna cut through a little bit like this so that you can expose these ribs that you feel in here so tell us about that joint so right there you can feel there's actually a joint in the ribs and that runs all along here and it's just thin cartilage that holds it together you can feel it feels like a little knuckle there so if you're feeling this rib this is smooth Smooth, just like you would feel a rib that you buy at the store. And then all of a sudden it gets really hard, almost like it's been broke there before. Hard, and then down past that, it gets smooth again. So really feel for the smooth part here. And when it gets hard, that's where you want to be. So we've got the rib, and we switched to an old duller knife. Because... You, you're gonna start at the front right there and Dusty's right on that rib that we just talked about. There's that join. So now if you just follow that. Right about there. Once you sink it in there, you just pull and that follows that cut right all along. And that opens up that whole brisket there, once you get down here, you wanna be careful, there's shorter ribs and your, your gut sacks obviously right there too. So you don't wanna hit that. Be careful on those last ribs, everybody. And there's them little ones I was talking about that are 
a little harder little to get ribs, at. So we follow that slice straight back and there's a couple little ribs right there. You gotta be careful cutting them. And so now we've got a fully cut sternum so now all the way across. Take this diaphragm too and just cut her along oh. the top. Okay. Okay, so now we're fully cut to the back. The small ribs are cut and now he's cutting this diaphragm. As he's lifting up, you can see the diaphragm in there. So you've cut along the, the, the diaphragm. Here. Yep, you just want to get that separated right up along the top there. So he was kind of lifting up on that brisket, cut the diaphragm off the brisket. <coughs> Done deal. So that is the entire front brisket. And once that is out, what a machine. Now you have full access to the inside cavity and a completely cooled off specimen here. This is really good for early season two. It opens up that rib cage so much that if you have to leave it to go get backboards, anything like that, it opens it up even more just to get more airflow through there to cool, help cool your meat faster. Amazing process, dude. Yeah, it's a good trick. Okay, so this brisket is out. Now you can slide this forward just like this. This is a big animal, huge animal. So you're gonna have to see this, people. This is what happens. Okay, so now what you're doing is we've pushed this forward. We've gone down right here. That's actually the bottom of the pelvis. Yeah. You should be able to feel a very distinct ridge directly between the legs right there. He's just slicing dead between until he gets down right there it is and it's a high ridge just like that follow that high ridge all the way down this right here that he's holding is the penis so that was above this pelvis before now we've peeled that back we've sliced underneath it peeled it back we've cut down to that pelvis bone and now we're exposing the bottom end of the pelvis. This is really important. You want to try to get the blade in there and completely go around the entire circumference of what you're holding. So you're essentially, you're going to be going entirely 360 around the penis and the anus all the way through. Try to get up in there and you're just disconnecting it here from the inside. This is a place that really you should have a very sharp knife. You know, when you're busting through this, you're gonna be using a duller knife that you're, you know you might dent a blade, you're gonna be going hard and heavy. In here, you wanna have very, very sharp knives so that you can get all the way around. And the way Dusty does this is, he does it this way because he actually likes to then pull this through and out and all this is gonna come out of the way of where you're gonna to have to be here. Pretty much forcing everything that we had laid back and everything that we had reamed, and now we're pushing it back through just like this. Now you have a, you have a handle to then be able to pull all this out just like that. And now everything's perfectly able to be removed. And once again, all about airflow, Dusty? Yeah, nice and clean, no fat, get the fat out of there. And yeah, just airflow through. And once we pull this, you're able to clean the cavity really well out through there. Now what you gotta do is reach all the way up in here as far as you can, and you're gonna cut the esophagus as far in there as you can. And now that esophagus is actually great for being able to get your hand in there and, and grab it. And that way, as you pull back, you're gonna cut a little bit underneath these organs and you're gonna come all the way back here to where the diaphragm is. And you wanna pull these internals over as you're cutting this diaphragm out and away. So right there, all the lungs, heart and everything are completely coming out. If possible, two man jobs nice. Dusty is gonna go backwards and away and all I'm gonna do is be touching this diaphragm right here as he's pulling. So he's pulling, I'm staying on this diaphragm right there. 
You just gotta lift, pull, and you're just disconnecting the diaphragm. All right, so now we're just pulling out this last bit here. And just like that, we have a clean cavity, full exit route for all of this. Fully exposing the complete inside, clean as a whistle in here. With this method, we've now fully exposed these front tenderloins, which are often neglected, but are amazing. And right here are the entire inner tenders. And again, right up front here, too many tenders that are simply amazing. And you can see all of the heat escaping right here. So important. Started a fire, knocked down some mosquitoes, it's raining, got cold. Smoke is killing me, but right there is the inner front tender of a moose. We're eating on the campfire here, breaking down over there, and we're each having a little snack. Wow.